Hello everyone, welcome to study a tech. In the previous videos, we have seen single phase rectifier, full controlled and half controlled. Now we will take three phase rectifier. So first we were taking in this video three phase rectifier using diode. Later on, we will replace the diode with the thyristors. We need to understand three phase rectifier using diode because understanding this circuit will help us to better understand the three phase rectifier using thyristor. Well, first we will learn why we need three phase rectifier at all, right? Earlier we have seen for half wave rectifier, we get this kind of voltage where negative half cycle we do not get at the output. In case of full wave rectifier, we get positive half cycle as well as the negative half cycle in the output voltages. Now, if we have to extract the DC from the half wave rectifier or the full wave rectifier, what we need to do? We need to use the filter. Filter means the inductor and the capacitor. Well, so comparing this half wave and full wave, we can conclude that in case of full wave rectifier, the requirement of the filter will be lesser because we have already seen in case of full wave rectifier, the ripple factor is lesser. Now, if we go to the three phase rectifier, we will see that the waveform will look like this, right? There are different kinds of three phase rectifiers. Some are called six pulse rectifiers, 12 pulse rectifiers. There are others possibilities also are there, three pulse rectifier to 24 pulse rectifier. Anyway, the point is that if we go to the three phase rectifier, we will see that filter requirement is reduced. Why? Because it is more, I mean, this waveform looks like more DC, meaning in this case, the filter requirement will be lesser. And if we go for the 12 pulse rectifier, we will see the waveform almost like a DC. The ripple is very less. So as we increase from half wave to 12 pulse rectifier, we see the filter requirement is decreasing, meaning pulse number is increasing, the filter requirement is decreasing. This is one of the reason that we need to use the three phase rectifier. Another reason is that in case of high power application like high voltage DC transmission, there we need the three phase in is involved. So we need to have a three phase rectifier. So this is the primary reasons the three phase rectifiers are used. Before exactly coming to the concept of three phase rectifier, we will understand this circuit. There are three diodes A1, B1 and C1. We see here that the cathode terminal of each diode is joined together. So this gives us a common point. What should we call it? Common cathode configuration. Right? And the load is connected here. Now, what we have, our anode terminals are free, A, B and C. What we can do? We can feed different voltages here. Let us say this point is fed with um, plus 3 volt and this point is fed with take some, let us take some minus volt, minus 5 volt and this voltage is plus 8 volt. Okay. Now we do not know which diodes will conduct or which diode will conduct, right? So let us first assume arbitrarily, let us investigate it. Let us assume A1 will conduct, right? So if A1 conducts, what we can say, this is a short circuit, right? This will be a short circuit. And if this is a short circuit, then what we can say, this plus 3 volt will appear here. So this potential will be plus 3 volt. So if this is plus 3 volt, what we can say B1 diode, its anode is having minus 5 volt and its cathode is having plus 3 volt. So this is reverse bias. Fine. So this will be open circuit. So this point's potential will be again plus 3 volt. Absolutely no problem. Then come to the C1. What will happen here in case of C1? In case of C1, we see that this potential is plus 3 as per our assumption. But this potential we are fitting with plus 8 volt, right? So if this is plus 8 and this is plus 3, so this is forward biased. Look, whether the diode will be forward biased or the reverse biased, that is decided by not only the anode or the cathode, the voltage difference across it, right? Plus 8 is higher than plus 3, so this will be forward biased. So if this is forward biased, this is a short circuit. And if this is a short circuit, then this point's potential must be plus 8, right? And if this potential is plus 8, this diode is open circuit and this will be reverse biased, right? Meaning that this voltage, meaning that this point's potential will stabilize at plus 8 volt. And 
a1 b1 all are happy they will remain in off state and this will be in on state what can we conclude from here we can conclude that in case of common cathode configuration that diode will be forward biased which is having the highest potential at its anode and others will be reverse biased right so this is the scenario for the common cathode configuration similarly we can apply the same logic in this circuit which is called the common cathode configuration and we, after the same analysis like the analysis of this circuit we will come to the conclusion that in case of common cathode configuration that diode will be forward biased which is having the least potential at its cathode right so this is a common anode and the common cathode configuration remember this point this is very very important to understand the three phase circuit now let us come to the three phase voltage how to draw three phase voltage i have explained in one of my video you can go to the playlist i will also give the link in the description you can watch that video where you will learn how to draw three phase voltage there are shortcut techniques are there and the logically it is also explained right okay so the phase a voltage is this one right and phase b voltage will start from here 180 degree and this will be this voltage bb right and extending it it will be this one and vc will be this voltage right and this voltage okay now look at the positive side meaning the point where vc and va are crossing each other this is called a crossover point similarly we can find there are other crossover points here here and here so we can give a name to them called the upper crossover point right okay similarly these points we must call the lower crossover point well from this point to this point so this must be pi by this is pi by if this is 180 degree three segments 60 60 60 and half of the 60 is 30 so from 30 to 180 minus 30 meaning 150 the a phase voltage is the highest voltage right and if a phase voltage is the highest voltage what we will see that from this configuration what we can say a1 is forward biased so a1 is forward biased from this point to this point right from this point to this point a1 is forward biased similarly what we can conclude this is b voltage b is the maximum here so b meaning the b1 is the diode connected to the b phase b1 is the diode connected to the b phase so b1 will be forward biased from this point to this point right similarly c will be forward biased here i think this point is clear okay so what the voltage i will get at the output if a1 conducts from this point to this point others are off we have already seen so we will get the va voltage here similarly we get vb voltage here and vc voltage here now exactly same logic is applied in case of common anode configuration where we see that from this point to this point right vb is the lowest potential vb means the phase voltage b so we will get b phase voltage okay then we will get c2 right c2 is the forward biased from this point to this point we get c voltage right vc similarly va and other voltages we will get you can pause the video and understand the logic now what we can do we can join the two circuits the common cathode configuration and common anode configuration we have joined together right and we can hide this neutral terminal and a to a b to b c to c are connected in this way we can make this circuit and which will basically turn up to this circuit called the three phase rectifier so three phase rectifier three phase bridge rectifier looks like this there are upper group of diodes and the lower group of diodes a1 b1 c1 they are called the upper group of diodes and they are called the lower group of diodes and upper group of diodes are having common cathode 
and the lower group of diodes are having common anode and in the first leg the a phase voltage is connected between a1 and a2 between b1 b2 b is connected between c1 and c2 c is connected and in between these two dc bus they are called the dc bus because you will get the dc voltage here the load is connected right now let us see for this circuit we know from this point to this point we have already had seen a1 is conducting a1 is forward biased you just look at the portion which i am talking about for forget others okay for the time being so b1 is forward biased from here to here so we get b1 is forward biased then c1 is forward biased from this point to this point similarly a similarly in the lower group we see that from this to this c is c2 is forward biased so we get c2 a2 b2 right okay so now let us say in this segment in the segment from this point to this point a1 b2 is conducting right if a1 b2 conducts a1 and b2 look here a1 is forward biased and b2 is forward biased so a1 b2 in this segment a1 b2 is conducting so what the voltage i will get this a potential will appear here and this b2 poten the b potential will appear at the q point a potential is appearing at the p point b potential is appearing at the q point so we will get the output voltage to be ab right so what the nature of ab voltage will be so we have to calculate that how do we calculate this is a 30 degree point so va sin 30 vmp is the maximum of the phase voltage right minus vb vab voltage means va minus vb right so what the b phase voltage is b phase voltage is at the negative max so sin 90 vmp sin 90 this plus is coming because of minus of minus voltage this is negative this is positive a minus of minus b meaning a plus b so that will give us 1.5 vmp v max okay so we will get this one now what will be the v2 at this point so at this point similarly we can calculate this is 60 degree right and this one is also 60 degree okay so this sine 60 and sine 60 and the plus as it is it will come so it will we will get root 3 vmp right so root 3 meaning 1.732 is greater than 1.5 and similarly if we calculate the v3 which is nothing but this one where the a is sine 90 and v is sine 30 so exactly same calculation we will get 1.5 vmp so v1 is 1.5 vmp v3 is 1.5 vmp and v2 is root 3 vmp so we will get a something like this a voltage right similarly if we calculate a1 and c2 a1 means a and c2 means c we will get ac voltage here a c a c so we will get the ac voltage here similarly other voltages we will also get you can logically calculate okay now one interesting thing i want to tell you from this diagram so look at this point at this point v a a phases voltage and the c phases voltage are same so a minus c will be zero right and again at this point they are being same so if i subtract a a to c or a minus c so this will be positive a minus c and they, they will be zero here and here again so at this point the profile of the vac will be this one right you understood this point look at this point they are zero here they are again zero here and the difference is maximum at the middle so we get the sign curve of vac similarly you can take other points also let us take this point at this point a is there okay 
and this is b so a minus b okay so a minus b is zero here zero then a is higher with respect to b so we get this one and if we extend these voltages we will see they will be zero at some point here okay so similarly by taking the crossover points you can draw other voltages also so you will see that we get the line voltages they are called the line voltages so what i am trying to say is that from the phase voltage we can draw the line voltages so if we do that it will look like this already we know if the from the phasor diagram a phase voltage b phase voltage c phase voltage they are separated by 120 degree and if we draw the line voltages this will be ab this will be bc and this will be ca so the line voltages are also separated by 120 degree right so by taking the reverse of the line voltages it will be if this is vab this is bc and this is ca ab bc and ca taking the reverse of ab is ba reverse of ca is ac and reverse of bc is equal to cb we can get the six set of line voltages separated by 60 degree right now we will calculate the average voltage so we can see from this point to this point or this point to this point is the period right and this is being repeated so the average voltage will be 1 by periodicity which is this point to this point is 60 degree meaning pi by 3 so 1 by pi by 3 alpha 1 to alpha 2 let us say this point is alpha 1 this point is alpha 2 v a b d of omega t okay so we will get the after the derivation we will get this voltage so the derivation has been shown here you can pause the video you can just look at this diagram and you will find out the calculation one thing you may be surprised to see here why i have taken sin omega t plus 30 degree here so this is the thing actually i have derived in the next slide see here if these are the phase voltages from here we can calculate the line voltages v a b to be this one you just pause the video and look at this derivation that it will be v m l maximum of the line voltage sin omega t plus 30 degree as we see here if this is v a n then v a b the line voltage is shifted by 30 degree so plus 30 and the length is higher so it will be root 3 times of the maximum of the phase voltages similarly the other things can also be calculated so the average voltage will be the average voltage after this calculation average voltage coming to be 3 v m l by pi or 3 root 2 v l by pi for the line voltage or in terms of line voltage line voltage max phase voltage phase voltage max i have shown in the derivation you can pause the video you can watch it hope you like the video if you are new to this video let me tell you study etech is a complete platform for the electrical engineering students you can visit our website this is our youtube channel you can subscribe to our channel press the bell icon to get the notification for the new videos thank you for watching see you in the next video